Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison is one of those formats where it's impossible to build a deck from sealed products without spending grants. But is that true? With only a 50 Canadian dollar budget per episode, I would have to take the chances of building a competitive deck from scratch. The goal? Reaching the high levels of the Edison competitive scene and being recognized as a champion. My name is Fall Knight, the French Canadian, and welcome on Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison format from scratch. And what's up everybody, it is Fall Knight, the French Canadian, and welcome on this first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison from scratch. Before starting the series, I just want to give shoutouts to the, the appropriate persons. Uh, the first one will be to RevCards. RevCards is an amazing YouTuber that I, I've been watching since a long time, and he is the one making... Uh, I have, uh, actually, he's the one I got inspiration because he did the same thing, but for the current format of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was him that inspired me to do the, to try the same challenge, but in the decent format. So shout out to RevCards, amazing channel. You should subscribe to him. He's amazing if you like the current format uh, content. And I will also give a shout out to the Edison Format community. The, it, it's amazing. They're amazing. They're so fun. They're so cool with me. They're so cool with everybody. Uh, they know their stuff. They're amazing. Give a huge shout out to them if you want to play the Edison Format. Uh, I suggest you to join the server discord and the website that will be in the description below. It's they're cool. All right, guys, you should join this community if you want to join the Edison Format. I've learned so much from them and they're really amazing. So huge shout out to them. Now that the shuttles have been given, let's just jump right into it. First of all, I will explain what is the Edison format for those for those of you who doesn't know what it is. So the Edison format is a short era in the Yu-Gi-Oh! history, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG history, I mean, uh, that happens in April 2010. It was the last the, the last tournament that will, the Shonen Jump will be doing at the Edison City, the Shonen Jump Championship. And this era, um, what we like about this format is that there is a lot of diversity. When you see the top 8 of this tournament, it's all different decks. It can be Blackwing, it can be Quick Cross and Crown, it can be Gadget, it can be Light Swan, it will be anything, Dragon, etc. It was an amazing tournament, and that's why everybody loved this format, is because there's no like a turn 1 deck, it's everybody has the same chance of winning, it's merely about skills and not about the deck power, and there's no power creep in this format. I mean, of course, there are strong cards like Royal Oppression or other cards like in any other format, but it was not oppressing, you know, just like his name, LOL. <laughs> no, actually, it was a really diverse diverse uh, format that everyone has a chance to build his home deck and, compet and uh, do competitive, competitive stuff with it. So that is why it's a good format for everybody. It's simple. Uh, it's more diverse than gold format, but it's less complicated than the current format so it's the perf the perfect balance between the both of this format so this is why it's my favorite for format and mo mostly why it's the favorite format of all the players and the uh, the community so yeah edison format is a great 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 format and if you want to learn more about it just like i said join the edison format discord or check the website all the information you need to you need to learn and start playing edison is on the on their website so yeah check out the website if you need more now that i explained what is the edison format let's just jump into the real stuff the sealed products so i was looking around at, the series need a lot of researches because well i have to make sure that i can not bust my budget of 50 dollars canadian per episode and it was really hard because for this for this first episode i need a deck right i need to start right away even though the deck is bad i need a deck of 40 cards I don't care if I don't have a side deck or an extra deck yet, as long as I have a deck of 40 cards, I'm in business. So I was checking around, um, and at first, my eyes lands on the Machine Revolt structure decks, but unfortunately right now, it's costing 75 and more Canadian dollar, so yeah, it was pretty bad. And I was looking around, and you know, I, I found the other dice, for example, Warrior Strike, but it's garbage, it's, it's it's really bad. And then I learned the existence of two structure decks that can work perfectly fine together. First, Machina Mayhem. It was the first introduction to the Machina, uh, to the Machina archetype in the Yu-Gi-Oh format, and the Machina Mayhem structure deck. It's perfect. It's all Edison format legal cards, uh, and the deck strongly for, uh, uh, you know, take parts of the Machina and Gadgets strategies. So I was like, yeah, that's perfect, but I need more, you know, I need more Machina, right? And after that, I realized that, hey, there's another deck, another structure decks 
for Mac for Mac for uh, you know Machina, Machina Fortress that released in 2017. That's right. It's called Mechanized Madness. Of course, there's a lot of non indicent card in this you know in this structure decks, but not only the structure the structure deck costs less because the Machina Mayhem cost me like 35 bucks. And this one cost me 15 bucks, so you know the difference. I think it even costs less, so it's perfect. And I got the cards that I needed. I need a second copy of Machina Fortress, a second copy of uh, Girlframe, maybe a second copy of Peacekeeper. So I, I had all the cards that I needed. So for this first episode, my strategy will be to buy these two still products, unbox them, and try to make a you know a viable, <laughs> a consistent and viable uh, decks with this uh, both structure decks, and of course with all the legality of a decent format. So yeah, I think my strategy for now will be to focus on the Machina. I don't think I will go to the Machina gadget sides. Uh, I want something more spicy. And I think for the next episodes, I will be looking more for Machina Ancient Gear. Uh, but for now, let's just focus on what we have right now, which is the Machina gadget. So yeah, it's time for the unboxing of the seal products of this episode. <laughs> Folks, it's this fun night, the French Canadian. So let's do this unboxing of this first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition from scratch with Mechanized Madness and Makina Mehan. So just before we started, I just want to show you something. I did actually just receive my own custom playmat. So there we go with Red Eyes Zombie Dragon, with Chorus Dragon, and of course. <laughs> so there we go guys, the squad is here for my last uh, deck that I was playing before switching to Flambo Zombie, which is a uh, light stun, light zombie stun deck. Uh, so alright, so oh wait, alright, also I have to show you something. I also did actually just receive my own custom sleeve of this pyramid church. <laughs> so there we go, I'm just really excited to have this. They are actually incredible. This is not a sponsor video of course, but I'm just I'm just really glad, you know, just finally got them. Uh, I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped, I'm really so hyped about this. So, um, yeah, so let's go for this first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison from scratch, sealed only challenge. So right now for this first episode, we have two structure decks. The first one, which is Machina Mayhem, uh, first edition, I think, I'm not sure. The box is actually, uh, ooh, damn, shit, man, buff, Wookers, huh? Wookers, anyway. So, Machina Mayhem will release in 2010, before, of course, the April. Uh, I think it was in March, March 2010. Uh, 2010. Did I just say 2010? Like a fucking French? <laughs> like a freaking Franklish Canadian? Nice! But, uh, no, uh, seriously, uh, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, so let's just start with... Let's just start with Mechanized Madness, and after that we will go with the big shit. Uh, so, like I said, my strategy uh, first will be to be playing uh, Machina Ancient Gears. I know, I know it will be more optimal to just start playing Machina Gadget because it's like one of the best new players deck out there. Plus, wait, can I just... Oh yeah, there's something here, right? There's just like a scrap or something. Can I just pull it? I don't know if I can succeed to pull the tires. Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, there we go. It's, it's here. Yep, it's here. There we go. Yep. No, there we go. Perfect. So I know like, for example, um, like I said, Machina Gadget is the best deck to begin with, but I just really wanted to play uh, something else like, well, Machina Engine Gear. It's more rare, so uh, there we go. All right, so first of all, this card, I cannot play it. I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. There we go, Machina Fortress, the big boy for this deck, for this still only deck. Machina Girlframe, Peacekeeper, Machina Force, and we can't, we can't. Soldier, also sniper, defender, commander. We can't, we can't, we can't. Scrap recycler is really good. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. Oh, oh uh, actually, we can. Machina armored unit. What is it though? Oh, once per turn. Wait, can you just focus, please? Hey, focus. Camera, camera. Oh, it's not on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Now it's better, it's way better now. <laughs> Once per turn, when a machine monster is destroyed by battle and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one machine monster for your deck that has the same attribute and less attack than that destroyed monster and yet in the graveyard. Very good, very good. Let's go with this. All right. Uh, we can't, we can't, we can't. Limited removal at one, of course. Pretty good. Tires of the Braided, I think we can. I'm not sure, just I will have to check whatever it is. We can't, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we can't. Fuck, goddammit. 
Uh, I'm not sure about this one also. I'm making overdrive the weekend. We can't. Back to the front. We can't. A double. Trap trick. Holy shit. Seriously? Sheesh. We can't, unfortunately. We can And we can't. Dual Links promo card. <whistles> Alright. All times. Legacy of the Duelist. <laughs> and Eternity Code. Eternity Code with Mechanized Magnus. Treasure deck. Bigger than guides also. So, yeah. So, actually, this is all the card we needed for this. For this well, the structure decks. Uh, oh yeah, also like I said, uh, I didn't say it, but I did buy this one uh, 35 dollars Canadian and this one fifty dollars Canadian. Not really fifty. It's more like uh, I don't remember. I mean, uh, wait, how much was cost? This was thirty five and this was thirteen, twelve, something like that. Anyway, I have like three dollars per. Something like that. So uh, yeah, it was twelve. It was twelve dollars for this for this booster box. I didn't count, of course. Uh, I didn't count the taxes because what does it was not useful. But yeah. So yeah, there we go. For mechanized madness, all of the all of the other cards are bulk. I will have to check this for this two later on. And we also come with a playmat. Woo! New playmat, guys. Let's do it. New playmat of mechanized madness, which is. Yo, it's like actually kinda sick. Sheesh! With making up with making a citadel and stuff. Yep, unfortunately we cannot play them, but yeah, we have the main stuff. Now let's go with the big stuff from 2010. Makina Mayhem Structure Deck. There we go guys. This is what we're excited. Seriously guys, just one thing I want to say first. I mostly prefer the old, you know, with the relief and stuff, just like that. You know, you can touch it, you can feel it. I really prefer the old uh, type of boxes of the whole structure decks than the new one, you know, it's like Meh, it's not a, as much as excited as the last as the old one, you know, this is my personal preferences, but yeah All right, let's go. Oh my god. Look at them Wow Yo, Machina Fortress Super Roman First edition of course first edition. We're not playing around guys. Well, I mean at, at first I thought I didn't I couldn't find you know uh Oh my god, the official rule book. Let's go! I have it in real life. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, at first I thought I couldn't find it uh, in other than uh, in first edition, which is a lot, uh, a lot uh, costful than, you know, unlimited one. But I did find it actually in uh, another store, so I'm going to start to buy it. A second Machina Mayhem from uh, the other stores. But uh, yeah, let's go with this. So Magna Fortress Ultra Rare. Oh my god, so much, so beautiful. Girlfriend Super Rare. Machina Peacekeeper Super Rare. Scrap Recycler. Commander Covington. Machina Soldier. Machina uh, Sniper. Machina Defender. Machina Force. Kinetic Soldier. Blasphere. Yep. AV Mix Support Platform. Double. Cyber Dragon. Staples BB. Let's fucking go. Proto Cyber. Green, red, and yellow gadget. <laughs> uh, armored Cyber Double, Cyber Valley, and the big Saturn. With Machina armored in it again. Prohibition, Shrink, really good. Sword of Ruin Light, Frontline Base, mach Machine Duplication, Infinite Ruthless Summon, and Destruction, Card Trader, Solidarity, really good. Time Machine, Dimensional Prison, holy shit, there's actually good card in here. Metal Morph, Rare Metal Morph, Ceasefire, Compulsory Evacuation Device, really good. Roll out and double roll out. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff to play with to make a, a first a first deck. Uh, really excited about it. We had a lot of, like I said, a lot of cards to work with. Uh, so let me just go uh, straight trying to build a deck, and I will see you after that. So, uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with the limited options that I got, uh, I did actually succeed to make a deck for this first episode. So uh, let's go with it. Let's not wait for the more. So, first of all, double Machina Fortress, of course, I think it's pretty obvious why. Uh, after that, we have double Mech uh, Machina Girlframe to search either uh, Fortress or Machina Forces in case we need it to, you know, in case Machina Fortress is in the, well, in the graveyard. Double Peacekeeper, if destroyed by battle, I can search one, you know, monster, which will be, of course, Machina Girlframe. Then after that, I can sum normal summon Machina uh, Girlframe to search every... Uh, 
either Machina Forces, like I said, or Machina Fortress. Speaking of the devil, we have Machina Forces, which can be used for material for the effect of uh, Fortress, or in this deck, we can actually try to summon it. I don't think we will succeed to do it, but it's feasible in this deck. After that, we have Machina Soldier. When this card is normal summon, while you control no other monster, you can special summon one Machina monster from your hand, except Machina Soldier. So does that mean is that Machina Soldier can actually uh, special summon not Machina Forces, of course, because of its effect, but either uh, Machina Fortress, for example, for free. Um, I don't think it's really... Yeah, we don't want to special summon Machina Rugger Frame because of its effect, it's only when it's normal summon, but... Uh, for example, Peacekeeper, etc. We can actually do a lot of gameplay with Machina Soldier. Uh, Machina Sniper, Machina Monster cannot be attacked except Machina Soldier. So, uh, for example, like I said earlier, I can normal summon Soldier, then after that, Sniper, which is actually, it's not the perfect bit stick, but it's, 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 it's like 1800, so it's not that bad. Uh, protect the other monsters, my other Machina monsters, so double double Machina uh, Sniper. We have double Machina Defender that have a big booty. Wait, where's the light? Where's the light? The light is dead! The light is dead! We have no more light. I have to restart, recharge it, fuck. But uh, we have Machina Defender. Had one commander, yeah, there we go, yeah. Had one commander Covington from your deck, so a uh, big booty. And speaking of the devil, Commander Covington, you can send one face up Machina Soldier, Machina Sniper, and Machina Defender you control to the graveyard to special summon one Machina Forest from your hand or your deck. So, yeah, we will actually try to do it. <laughs> double Scribe Recycler, we have a lot of hurt level 4 machines, so it's, uh, we can actually do it. We have double, double of them. Triple, uh, not triple, sorry, one of each gadgets help, you know. Doing, going the graveyard, doing, going ma do, having materials for the Machina Fortress and stuff. Uh, Cyber Dragon. Uh, I'm actually scared of playing him because, uh, yeah, my light is dead. Real. Anyway, I'm actually scared of playing this card because I don't have like bottomless trapple or anything to just stop uh, people summoning, uh, for example, a Chimera deck Fortress Dragon. Uh, so I'm actually kind of scared about this deck and stuff, but I have to. You know, I have to. It's really good. Uh, can be special summon if, I can, if my opponent controls a monster, uh, I do not. Plus, he has a lot of attack points, so yeah, I have to play it. And for our must, final master, uh, monster, sorry, Cyber Volley. This card is actually insane. Like, I can m do one of this effect, so I can end phase, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like a battle fighter, but I guess. I don't know if it's better or not, but this card can actually allow us to like draw a card, which is really important because we have not really a good deck right now and drawing cards to make sure to have our, always the right, the right uh, cards in the right moment is actually necessary in this deck if you want to have a little bit of chances to do so. So Cyber Valley is, is actually pretty insane. I'm sorry by the way for the birds, you can hear, it's like my birds are playing right now with each other so it's kinda cute but it's kinda... Yeah, shut up! <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not relating to them. All right, Machina Armored Unit on spot turn when I'm matching. Let's so yeah, I already already read it, but I have double of them. It can actually be useful. Uh, card Trader on spot turn during your standby fights, you can shuffle one card from your hand into the graveyard uh, to the, the deck. Sorry, then draw more cards, so you can help us also get the right card at the right moment. Uh, and also, like, you know, uh, take care of the cards that we don't need at, re at the moment. Fun Light Base, on pattern, on pattern you can, during your main phase, you can special summon one level 4 or lower in your mon monster. So, I did actually put it, but I don't think it's that good, you know. It's li really because I was limited, but let me, let, let me, like, let me, let me take a look, right? I ha have none in your monster except, oh, my, except Peacekeeper and Girlframe. So, yeah, it's not really that good of a card. I think it will be one of the cards that will be like discarded or going back to the deck because we don't re really need them, but you know, who knows. Uh, Ends of Destruction, each player send two cards from their hand to the graveyard and draw two. I know it's really not that good because there's a lot of decks that love at sending cards to the graveyard, uh, to their hand to the graveyard, sorry. So it's not that good, but we have to, alright? Limited rule removal, just broken, it can actually steal some games. Prohibition can be real interesting. When you activate this card, declare one card name, cards with that name and their effect cannot be used. Cannot be used. Uh, cards on the field before uh, cards on the field before this card was activated are not affected, including friends down card. So I have to like pre-shot bodies, uh, I have to pre-shot the cards, it, it will take skills, you know, we'll have to need to have skills to do that. But it uh, actually can be done. 
But Avarius to help out uh, go shuffle the monster and five monster from a GI to the deck and shuffle to uh, and draw two. Shrink to help during the battle. Solidarity we actually need three of three of it, but right now we are stuck with one. But we have to you know get the other one later on. Swords of Roving Light at one it can actually help us uh, you know surviving longer. Ceasefire flip all face down defense position months to face up. The reserve effect are not activated, it can actually help us, for example, against Rico or against Flip Monster and stuff, or against like any cards that people will, you know, just put in defense, it can actually help us. And uh, plus, it can do some burn damage to my opponent, which is actually uh, can, kind of uh, helpful. Couple series evacuation device, huge emergency card. Rare Metal Moth, select one face up type monster, it gains 500 attack points, on time only negate the effect of a spell card that target that monster. When the selected monster is removed from the field, destroy this card. So yeah, you can actually help us, you know. Uh, not that great, but eh, and we need some, you know, we need some more power, you know. We need powers, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, actually we don't have, you know, a lot of it. Metal Morph again, uh, to, you know. I, I mean, I guess you know, right, the effect of Metal Morph, but we actually need it as well as deck to give it more like boost and power and stuff. Dimensional Prison, a more of a back row protection, and of course Time Machine. Uh, time Machine activates only when a monster is destroyed by battle and set to the graveyard. Special summon that monster to the field, uh, to the same side of the field it was on, and the same battle position it was when it was destroyed. So yeah, it's like uh, yo, we go back in time, baby. <laughs> so this is the deck. This is the deck for this first episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu Yu Edison from scratch. Uh, I'm pretty excited to just try it on dueling books. So uh, yeah. Let's get tested, boys! Alright, folks, so I did put the decks and uh, dueling books. Right now, I did find a match against Chillfield. Shout out to you, man, if you're watching this video. <laughs> I'm going to get my ass kicked right now, but... Hey, it's part of the game, right? I, I love spending 50 bucks to get my ass kicked. Um, I'm going to go first, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh, this deck will be awful! Oh, it's going to be so shit. Alright. I draw... Shuffle, standby, main phase one. All right, so what do we have here? We have absolutely garbage hand. Wow, there we go. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so. What the fuck? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I look like a fucking dumbass. Lol. Yo, what is this deck? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I look like a fool. All right, it's it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's it's fun and chill. It's fun and chill. We're we're here to have a good laugh. Feel is a good sport. Um, yeah. So uh, it's destroy. I'm going to add commander config ten in my hand. <laughs> that is going to get destroyed. Huge play, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> is that legal? Yup, it's legal and no one's played for a reason, brother. <laughs> I guess yeah, I guess peacekeeper is the is the play right here. I need it. So yeah, let's go. Uh stand by. Declare. Uh and to the deck. I'm going to shuffle deck and drum one. And now you drum one. Perfect, it's bad. <laughs> I don't need this card right now. Oh why you oh my god! Right! So I'm playing against Black Winds Hybrid. I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's Storm. Oh my God! There we go. That's perfect. Nice. Holy shit! Holy crap, Macaroni. That's good. That's that's really good for me. All right. Let me just do something first, real quick. I should normal summon this. Oh wait, I can do this. No, I don't want because I want to search with it. Yeah, that's why. That's why I don't want this card. All right. So first of all, I'm going to special summon Cyber Dragon. I think that's the play right now. Oh, okay, okay, 800, alright, so he paid that, alright, so I'm kinda fucked right now, so I guess my next deck, my next thing, my, my next things to do will be to, uh, normal summon Makina Girlframe, yeah, I'm trying to activate Metal Morph on Girlframe, <laughs> that's the play, brother, huge plays right here, brother, uh, I'm going to add that battle phase and attack Sirocco with it. Yeah, it's fine. All right, there we go. So there we go. All right. Well, man, phase two. Let's set one and and turn. Because right now I cannot, you know, uh, try to do this. So yeah, it's bad. 
Manifest Moon. <laughs> Uh, what do we have here, huh? What I don't want right now? Uh, I think I'm going to need this really soon. And I kinda want this. Kanda Wakanda. Uh, shit, what I don't want. I'm going to declare Machina Fortress. To discard himself and Commander. Easy. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's fine for me. It's perfect. So I was. That's perfect for me. I'm now going to activate Pot of Avarice. Alright, let me just send it to the ruling so it's more uh, poor him and poor, poor guy. <laughs> He's just trying to understand what is the what the fuck is going on. And it's so shit. I'm so sorry for him. <laughs> I'm going just to go uh, destroy his ass is. Or maybe not. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh! Motherfucker! Alright, I'm not going to say it just in case he take it bad, but <laughs> because I, I obviously I'm joking, but I don't want him to think I'm a huge motherfucker. Yo, he's playing Mirror Force and Real Operation. This guy is going sweet nerds on Machina Soldier. <laughs> oh, what the fuck am I going? Alright, do what, bro? Green gadget power, bring, bring. Look at the sweet nerds. Holy shit. Yo, man. <laughs> I'm speeding on them and playing black wings and going hard hard. Look at him, man. Look at this dude. Now I'm not going to forget about it because last time I regret it. So I'm going to put this. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I can. It's standby phase. What do you want? On spot turn, then you stab and phase. What do you want? Let me play it. What do you want? Cost? I know it's not. I don't, I don't look like I know you. What, you want to negate card reader? Yo, this card, this guy is playing Royal Operation Black Winds Volume 2 Bow with Mirror Forces and is asking me questions about the ruling of Time Machine and Car Trader and Machina Armored Unit. Are you fucking serious? Yo, bro, you're going to win anyway. You're playing a real dick. What the fuck you want? He's making me check the ruling of fucking card. Yo, he's not even in the database. I don't know. Yo, he's actually, yo, he actually sent me the links. Yo, if you see this effect, start a chain. Yeah, it does it. But, yeah, cause think He's thinking about it! Dude, what the fuck are you doing, man? Just fucking kick my ass! <laughs> Bro, Phil! Your name is not Chill! It's fucking Schwarhart Phil! Did I actually destroy it? And? Did I actually destroy it? It destroyed my card! What a bitch! Only, the, only him, only him, only him. Yeah, you have to target too, brother. You have to target. Yo, dude, Icarus attack my card trader. That's something. Wow, I'm genuinely impressed about it. It's wow. I never saw somebody like this. Yo! <laughs> Alright! No, I'm sorry guys, I'm just really shocked about what happened! Wow. I'm playing against the most sweetie black wind players of my entire life. That is something. Wow. Phil, you need to chill because this is not the username for you, man. You should just call yourself Phil or try hard Phil. Check it out on Mackie Darker Frame! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> My, <laughs> I'm going to search for Machina Forces to head. Then I'm going to activate Rare Metal Morph on this one. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, brother! Yeah, you have nothing for that, huh? Are you going to pay? Are you going to pay? I want I want him man. Oh yo, I can actually. I can actually have to, I have an idea, man. Yo, pay, 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 pay. Are you going to pay? Are you going to pay? 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 Yes! Perfect! Now it's not earns per turn, for I can declare it back. Are you going to pay again? Pay again! Pay again, brother! Pay again! Yes! Yes! Pay. I'm just going to destroy Blackwing. Crash. Yeah. Let crash. Oh, fuck, it's crash. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck my matter garbage.
Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm f so fucking dumb, man. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm the worst bitches in this town. Holy shit, I'm fucking dumb. Wow, <laughs> I did that so bad. I'm kinda dumb. And now he has all the cards in the world. Plus real oppression. Feel is not chill. When this card you can do target. Oh shit. Oh, he's going to the special summon. Which one? Gale? Oh fuck, he's going for the attack. Oh shit, I'm dead. Shit, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. No side deck, Lord. <laughs> I don't have a side deck. Is he going to side deck in? Oh, come on! You piece of shit. Alright, I'm going first. Just the 2C draw then. Of course. Just. Just is the keyword here. Cough. <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah. I think I just should I should just set it and pass turn. Just to make him fear the power of Makina Fortress and Makina Girlframe. <laughs> For con, huh? Oh my god, fucking piece of shit. I, I, I've, I, I have no means. I, I, I'm out. I'm just going to end this video and it's, it's, it's... <sighs> Fuck you, Phil.